Hey brothers and sisters, I'm back. I took a few to rest in the Lord, and I'm back. And I had a dream last night, and, huh? Well, remember, I, I never do that, right? Right. I had a dream last night. I believe it was from the Lord. I'm not stating it as fact. That's my observation. I went into deep prayer about those that I exposed, um, that I tried to warn the flock. Nobody's listening. So I believe the Lord laid on my heart to just relay the message. Do not get into disputes. Do not get into confrontation. Just relay the message. And those that are hearing it and receiving it have the choice to discern it with the Lord. Those that, that are teaching these false doctrines are in error, are in sin, and are not listening to the scriptures that it is required of the watchman to warn or the blood is on our hands. It is required for us to rebuke and reprove in love. But if they do not listen and take it to the Lord in prayer... Um, the Lord basically said just to post, I, I believe he stated, I'm not stating it as fact, it's my observation, to, lay the, to relay the message, they don't listen, he was going to deal with these Pharisees. And I had a dream about um, that, and that he laid on my heart to read about Ephesians. Did you read the book of Ephesians? Some parts of it. What do some parts say, babe? It's my 17-year-old son, so, huh? No, no, we're the whole armor God, don't let the enemy steal your crown, don't no, no, let him not still steal no more. And then it also talks about the church, right? It also talks about, um, what does it say about the sound doctrine part? Sound doctrine, um, those, those who, um, pervert it, uh, if, if, an, if an angel or a minister comes to you with different gospel members than somewhere else, Come on, see what your gospel let me a person. That's what I remember too. So he wanted me to read that word, and I believe this is my belief. I'm not stating it as fact. Oh, you have your your cell phone. Excuse me, guys. Ephesians. Let, let me get your cell phone real quick. Okay. Two seconds. So. I dreamt about that last night, and then I also remember reading in there about, does it reference anything, Junior, about mocking? Um, um, I, I believe so. Those, those who will mock, will be, will be mocked. Right. So, um, the message I believe that he gave me, because I try to warn these people, and they're just not listening. They, they, um... They basically said I was the devil, I was of Satan, I took it to the Lord in prayer, and I was persecuted, okay, and I tried to warn that these individuals are, pride, you know, very prideful spirits, so, um, I took it to the Lord in prayer, all right, and this is what I believe, like I said, he laid on my heart, um, like I said, one of the things he laid on my heart was regarding, um, just to relay the message, and they have a choice to discern it with the Lord or not. And the, do the teachers that are teaching these lies, false prophets, have a choice to discern it with the Lord or not. If they don't, he was going to deal with these Pharisees. And um, I'm going to read you a couple of verses here. This is Ephesians chapter 2. And you have he be, he be quick, and who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein... Time past ye walked around to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom who also we had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by the nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great loveth where he loveth, um, loved us. Even if we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved, and hath raised us together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages he might come, he might shew, excuse me, the exceeding riches of the grace and the kindness toward us through Christ. And um, for ye, for by grace ye are saved through faith, and not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should voice. 
For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which has be which um hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Um like I said, I went to him in prayer, and I even fasted on this. And um I rested in the Lord. You could say, yeah, I rested in the Lord and I was communing with him. He knows who these false prophets are. And he knows who these false teachers are. And the bottom line is, you know who you are. And he is going to deal with you. So I'm going to do as he directs. I believe that he laid on my heart. To just relay the message. And continue to expose these wolves in sheep's clothing. And, um, you know, if they choose to listen and take it to the Lord in prayer, they, then that's good. If they don't, then... Um, that is their, you know, their peril, pretty much. Um, their choice, excuse me. Um, let's see. According to the eternal purpose, which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Um, what I desire, wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations, which is your glory. For the cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Ephesians chapter 3. So... Um, yeah, that's the dream that I had last night, and, um, Miss, um, Sheriff, Rachel Sheriff, um, I did try to reach out to you a couple more times, and, uh, you could say as much as you want that I'm persecuting, that's not the case. I was trying to rebuke you and reprove you in love, and I had a dream vision about you as well, and in the dream you were crying. You were crying. Okay, I have never seen you before, but um, you were crying in this dream. And what I do remember is the words, they will be judged. So, as a reminder, um, we are coming upon Christmas. I have already warned you and those like you that uh, if the rapture doesn't happen by Christmas, per Deuteronomy, you are considered false prophets. And it's not as simple as repenting. When you repent of your sin, there has to be sacrificial blood to wash that sin away. But you are repenting, or you are sinning intentionally. You're being warned, but you're doing it anyway. So, that dream that your mother had about the flash of lightning you said in your video today, and about Jesus Christ, and about the bride and a flash of lightning, that's the devil. What is it, Marcus? Um, I remember something in the New Testament about Jesus said he witnessed a saint fall down from heaven as fast as lightning. And then in Revelation uh, 12, a um, uh, dragon fell out of heaven along, along with the third star of heaven. And um, the angel of darkness can appear as the angel of light. And the devil will mimic everything that Christ does. So that dream or vision that your mother had, and I'm going to be truthful to you, with lightning flashing down, that's the devil returning. And the Christ that you saw in your dream or your mom's dream or revelation is actually the Antichrist, appearing as Jesus Christ. And the bride, what is the bride, Junior, Marcus? Uh, mystery Babylon. The bride um, is a counterfeit bride, which is the harlot. So the fact that your mother had this revelation, this dream, is not a good thing. Is it more like a warning? Uh, more like um, you're going to be deceived by the time the falling away comes. So more like you're going to be deceived by the time the falling away comes. That is the dream that you had. My son and I were sitting here watching your video, and that's the first thing that we thought of. A flash of lightning, the return of Satan. The image of Jesus Christ that you saw, or your mom saw, in your dream was actually the counterfeit Christ, the Antichrist. That's what that was. And the bride that you see there is the harlot, a counterfeit bride. Okay, and that you're going to be falling upon that deception, a deceitful spirit, as I forewarned you before. So, like I said, I had a dream about you that you were crying, and then the words that I heard, I believe that were from the Lord, and I'm not stating it as fact, was that you will be judged. Because I prayed on this very heavily. For you and those like you to assume that you are going to make it in the rapture is a prideful spirit. And if you say 
that Jesus Christ sent you the dream and he and be uh, if Jesus Christ sent you the dream and that uh, I'm calling you false by saying I'm, I'm sorry that I'm calling Jesus Christ false because you say that he told you that he sent you a dream that you were going to be in a rapture first of all you don't know if that dream's from him that's something you need to discern with the Lord secondly that's what everybody needs to do is try and test every spirit you discern the dreams with the Lord any dream any vision because it can because if you keep talking about the rapture it goes for everyone if you keep talking about the rapture and you keep talking about um, constantly the rapture when you dream about the rapture it's going to be from your heart's desire it'll be hard to distinguish if it's from the Lord or not so um, yeah, the Lord is really not happy with you at all right now, and I've warned you. So I'm going to leave it in God's hands. I'm going to let him handle it. But um, like I said, when you are insisting that the rapture is this year, you are falsely prophesying and you're causing a great falling away. This will be the last warning. God's going to deal with you from here on out. That's, that's I'm being obedient, bringing this out here. That was my directive. I believe that he told me, and I'm not stating it as fact, that he will deal with those Pharisees. And Marcus, what is a Pharisee again? A prideful hypocrite who leads many far astray. Say it again so I can hear you. A prideful hypocrite who, who leads the flock astray. He will deal with the Pharisees. They will be judged. That's what I believe he told me in my spirit. And the other thing that, that he's not pleased about is that I was being mocked. Few bold soldiers my like few bold soldiers of Christ like me were being mocked and persecuted. And did I not did I not tell you that if you mock me you mock the one who, who uh his bold soldiers for Christ, if you mock me, if you mock them, he will return that to you. And I'm not wishing that on anyone, I'm just telling you. All I'm all I know is I believe he told me that he was gonna deal with you. That's what, I, that's what I believe I was told. I'm not stating it as fact as my observation. Because I felt it in my spirit that he was not happy at all. Not happy at all about how many you're leading astray. Those in, not just you, Ms. Sheriff, but others too. This is not to persecute you. I told you, and I, and I warned you, that um, the reason why you're being attacked by the enemy so much, and maybe those in similar situations, is because you are sinning intentionally against God. And the more you sin intentionally against him, the more he's going to give permission, right, yeah. to, the, to the enemy to attack you. And those attacks will only get worse. That's why I told you to fast and to pray. You always feel like an ease when you um, go to bed, false prophets. Yeah, you false prophets must be feeling unease. You must be hearing voices or something because demonic attacks are happening to Christians. And... Yeah, you see something in the corner of your eye and it's, it isn't there. It's happening to Christians. You're brushing your hair one one night and you see something in the mirror. It's happening. A, a brother, a sister in Christ had that happen to her, and she saw many. She she went through a lot. I mean, she went through a lot. She heard screams in her house and everything. It, it, the veils are thinning. So, in these times, you don't want to be separated from the economy of God. You want to be covered by His blood. You are intentionally leading people astray. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do as, as I'm told. I believe the Lord told me to post this message. That's all I believe it. I'm not stating it as fact. It's my belief. To post this message. To read the book of Ephesians. And, um that he was going to deal with you. So, if I were you, I'd get on your knees and I'd beg him for forgiveness. And I'm so serious right now. I'm so serious. Um, this is another thing that I just bumped into. Ephesians chapter 5. For ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. I just bumped into this. It's for you guys. 
Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Let's go to let's go to verse one, chapter five, Ephesians. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. The fornication and all uncleanliness or covetousness, covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becometh saints, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater hath an inheritance in the kingdom of God and of Christ. You have to be completely sinless to be in the presence of God, to even be among his bride. This goes for Rachel Sheriff and all of those like you that are false teachers and false leaders, and I'm going to call you out like I see it. I'm going to post the messages as the Holy Spirit leads me. You have the choice to discern it with the Lord, or you have the choice to continue teaching your, your, your um, fables, listening to what itching ears want to hear, because the Lord is going to deal with you, you Pharisees. Um, what else? Um, Seven, verse 7, be not ye therefore partakers with them. So I'm going to go back to verse 6 in Ephesians chapter 5. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. This is for you, Miss Sheriff, and those like you. This is a word for you guys. I'm reading it right out of scripture. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now ye are in light. Ye, but now are ye light in the Lord, walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful workers, works of darkness, but rather reprove them. So, verses 6 through 7, 8, 9, and 10, especially proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Reprove them, meaning what, Marcus? Um, reprove them means, means to, uh, rebuke them all or all, um, all suffering and kindness. And, cut and curse those in error. So verses 1, 5, chapter 5, or Ephesians 5, verses 1 through 5, it's for you false prophets. And verses 6 through 10 is for the bold soldiers warning you, okay, that we are not to have fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness. Verse 12, For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifested by the light, for whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectively, not as fools, but as wise. So the Lord is still calling you into the ark. You have to repent of your sins. We're all sinners, but falsely prophesying and the blind leading the blind is a very deadly sin. All sins are deadly, but what you're doing is you're taking a lot with you. So he's going to deal with you Pharisees and um, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore ye be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. We are to do the will of God, not the will of man, by making these crazy doctrines and these, setting these dates. We cannot forget what Christ did for us on the cross, that he died for us. He died for us so we can live unto him, not unto ourselves. And, um, let's see, verse 18, And be not drunk with wine, where, wherein is excess, but filled with the Spirit. What, Marcus? The strange vine, the one the strange vine. Yep. Those branch trees, not the good or evil. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Um, submitting yourselves one another to the fear of God. And um, so the Lord's going to deal with you guys. You know, I'm being obedient, bringing this word forward. Again, I believe it was laid on my heart. I'm not stating it as fact. All I know is I woke up with the book of Ephesians in my mind and that... The words, he was going to deal with the Pharisees, and um, 
Like I said, Miss Sharp, I had a dream about you. You were crying, and I don't even know what you looked like. You know what I mean? But you were crying. I think you had in a dream like light brown hair or something like that. I don't even re remember. But you were crying, and the words, you will be judged. So he's going to deal with you guys, okay? Um, my hands, I'm washing it. I'm washing it of this situation because I already did what I was told, what I believe I was told. I'm a watchman, and I was exposing the wolves in sheep's clothing. So, praise be to God for bringing me back in full force, and I'm going to continue to protect the flock in love and patience. And those of you that choose to hear the message about these wolves in sheep's clothing, praise be to God. But those of you that choose to be deceived still along with these false teachers and prophets, he's going to deal with you too. God bless you.